Okay, and what I'm going to be doing with the uh, 3D print next is I'm going to take in Hank, shut that up. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to be taking in uh, making a vulcanized mold off of it using some vulcanizing mold rubber. So we have to cut this to fit in. Stairs and put some dogs away because they're getting on my nerves. All right, so we're gonna take and make a mold off of a 3D printed part. This is a uh, a key ring for our rescue group, Northern Chesapeake Shawty Rescue. It's printed in PLA, and I'm gonna use uh, vulcanizing rubber. Make a mold with it real fast, so I can take and. Uh, Shoot some waxes, make a whole bunch of these right before the picnic, <laughs> which is in three days. So this is going to be one of the fastest jobs I've ever had to do. Probably going to screw it up. And Hank is talking up a storm up there. This doesn't really need to be uh, all that perfect. Yeah, these are going to be a giveaway item. This is actually printed 100% solid, and for good reason. When it goes into the press, the vulcanizing temperature of the rubber is uh, quite above the softening part of the PLA plastic. right in here.
So we're going to leave that in the press there for about an hour and a half to vulcanize the rubber and then we'll pull it out, split the mold and start shooting some waxes. see how we did. Actually, uh, turn the PLA into one crispy cookie. That's interesting. Yeah, it looks like it came out. Just gotta clean up the shit on it. Then we'll be good. Okay, that's our mold. It came out pretty good. First, quick is what we're doing it. And go ahead and shoot up the wax here. Sooner or later I'm going to do one of these molds that doesn't fill nice and easy so I can show you how to vent it. But so far they've just been filling without any trouble. If it wasn't on video it would give me all kinds of help. idols. Okay, I've shot up about 20 waxes real quick. And we're going to get these guys sprued up. And when I printed it, I left a little runner on it so I can attach it to the tree real quick and easy. So. That's in the wrong spot. What am I thinking? Back the heat off on my pen just a little bit. Seems to be not wanting to uh, agree with me.
flask cleaned up. Big plan operation putting the flask over top of this. You don't want to go hitting your parts and knocking them off. Swear these. Tape it up. I picked these flasks up, the bombs dropped off, and you know, after it was filled with investment, shit went flying everywhere, parts everywhere, not cool. So, tape the bottom on. Okay, now we're going to take and mix the investment for our key rings. Got our water, already weighed out our investment for the size flask we're using. to invest in a bigger bell jar because I want to start being able to do larger flasks. I'm kind of leaning towards also maybe uh, 
taking and doing some shell casting. I got some lay mold filament to try out. And I want to use it for a ceramic shell casting and see how that you know, pans out. If it's going to work, that'd be awesome. But time will tell. What I really need to do is do some shop cleanup because I can't hardly even walk in here. Eh, you can't see what's happening in any way. Goodbye. Here's our key rings. All right, well, I've been at the uh, polishing wheel for a little bit of time. I'm going to take a break. I just want to show how these are starting to come out. I'd like to enamel the uh, inside of it here, a different color or something to really make it stand out, but I don't think I'm going to have time before, you know, I'm, I'm leaving tomorrow. So, we'll see. Talk to you later.